this is Bonnie Francis, and we have the Senior Summit coming up May 15th at the 4-H Park. And some of the vendors are coming in and explaining to us what information they're going to have. This is Anne Marie Medulla, and she's with London Dairy on the Tread Avon. Mm -hmm. So I'd like you to first to explain what is London Dairy on the Tread Avon if someone hasn't seen any brochures or anything on it. Sure. London Dairy is a 62 plus active adult waterfront community. It's nestled on 29 beautifully landscaped acres on the Tread Avon River in historic Easton. Okay, now um, what type of um, cottages Mm -hmm. are available in your development. Okay. Currently we have 97 cottages on the property and 26 um, apartments. Of the cottages they range anywhere from 573 square feet up to 3200 square feet. So that would be like a one bedroom? Mm -hmm. We have like a, a one bedroom all the way up to two to four bedrooms and we're getting ready to build um, larger cottages ranging from 1,700 square feet up to 3,200 square feet. And um, the, it's just everything is right there, like the kitchen, they can mm -hmm. fix their own meals, all of that, right. right? All of the cottages and apartments have full kitchen on site, washer and dryer um, in, in their cottages or their apartments, but we also have in our community center, we have our own dining room and um, we have full-service restaurant um, for lunch and dinner daily. If a person is interested in maybe pursuing something mm -hmm. like this, they don't get out, we'd like them to come to the summit, but if they don't come out to the summit, um, how do they get in touch with you? They can call 410-820-8732 mm -hmm. or go on um, the web to www.londondairytreadavon.com. Okay. Now, when we're um, talking about the community itself, um, there are different services that you provide. Mm -hmm. What would be something different when someone's looking at your 62 plus mm -hmm. that they may be interested in that maybe some other development stone off. Right. So London Dairy is what we call a co-op community. It's very similar to home ownership um, in that you have a monthly fee and it incorporates all of your landscaping, housekeeping, your heat, your elect um, electric so you won't have to pay any other bills. It's just one monthly fee. Mm -hmm. um, and then the only things that aren't included are telephone, um, cable, or um, internet. Okay. Um, so you would have to pay that outside of your, your monthly fee. And you have someone that does activities mm -hmm. so they could join in to different Absolutely. We have a full-time activities uh, director on site and um, a committee that plans all of the monthly activities ranging from trips to games to having um, lectures come in um, and there's something to do. We like to say your life your way. You're free to choose as much or as little as you want right. to do. Right. Now, your community um, doesn't have any type of um, medical facility or is there something because I know sometimes right. people are looking at well this development has these homes but then if I get sick and mm -hmm. need medical attention right. I can move to this section mm -hmm. um, is there something like that in your facility right our community is an independent living community okay. um, we do offer our own residential nursing program called it's good to be home and through their services they can help you out with wellness coordination medication management if you would need help um, bathing or showering or getting dressed, meal preparation, those sort of things. But okay. that's correct in saying we are not an assisted living facility. Right. So if someone notices that they're having, or a family member mm -hmm. notices that their parent who's living there mm -hmm. might be having a little more trouble mm -hmm. in preparation, they could contact someone in that office. Absolutely. And then see if maybe they could come out and evaluate or mm -hmm. 
you know, see where they could help them. Right. And then with being a co-op community, you're free to use our services or you can contract your own services and have other services brought in okay. if you needed more or if you just wanted to use a particular care person. So, um, Senior Summit is mm -hmm. coming up in May. Um, you're going to be out there. Yes. What type of information could people pick up when mm -hmm. you're there? Well, they can get information on our new builds on our larger cottages that we're getting ready to build. Um, they can get more information on our existing um, apartments and cottages and just find out more about the community in general. And how does that work as far as availability? I mean, you're building more, mm -hmm. so does that mean there are any available now? Mm -hmm. Right now we have 28 buildable lots. and. Um, you can come in and fill out an application to build okay. um, and they should be ready you know in, in this fall. Anne-Marie is there anything else you'd like to tell us about your community? Well I always think it's, it's one thing to hear it from a salesperson but mm -hmm. it's nice to hear it from a resident and I have a video of two of our residents Bob and Joyce LaForce and what they say about life at Londonderry. Oh that'll be fun to listen to. Yeah it'll be it's a, it's a nice video. You know, Joyce, the one thing I must admit that I finally did well is that I convinced you to come to Londonderry. We talk about Londonderry as you know, a place where you can live your life your way. And I think that that says it all because you can be as involved in all kinds of activities as you want to, or you can live your life more quietly uh, if you wish. And uh, we have felt that smile, dear. <laughs> I'll smile when I want to. <laughs> What's your favorite activity here, Judge? I never thought I would admit this, but exercise is really the exercise class in the morning at 9 o'clock every day. I particularly enjoy uh, walking the dog now because there's a lovely path along the water. Bob does fast walking. I don't do fast walking. I'm one of those characters that takes a couple of three pound weights and fast walks and looks like they're having an epileptic fit as I'm running around. People now you know just... why we don't walk together. <laughs> we looked at other retirement areas uh, and all I could think of was institutions. And this here is, is a place where we have homes and live together uh, without any of the worries of maintaining or cooking or, uh, you know, for me, dishwashing. The uh, thing I enjoy most is the friends we've made here. I've, I've never been in, in a group that is so friendly and has so much to share. By the way, you know Margie Blood, you and the two of you talk art all the time because she's quite a painter. She's a marvelous painter. Yeah, but I, I learned something about her just today. Uh, she is quite a bridge player. She's a killer. Uh, so if, uh, if you have opportunities to play bridge with her, avoid it. Never. At all costs. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, there's so much going on here, so, much, uh, so many activities, so many wonderful places to walk. And I have to say the grounds here are so beautifully maintained. The gardens and the pools and fountains. Uh, well, you know, a number of us uh, uh, like to canoe and, uh, and kayak. So uh, the water is here and we want to take full advantage of it. I just look forward to every week uh, with mm -hmm. the idea of what new can I do today uh, or learn something new. What would you like to do today?
scenery and whatnot, and he enjoys. She. She. <laughs> Chi Chi. <laughs> I'm learning something new about you. <laughs> It's only been seven years, honey. <laughs> <laughs>